Hi, it's Rina, and today I'm going to show you my favorite iPad tips, tricks, and hidden features. If you're new to my channel, I make videos on iPad productivity and digital planning tips and tutorials. So subscribe and hit the notification bell for more of this content. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do each tip, and you can also slow the video down in the YouTube settings and pause the video when you need to. Before we get started, make sure you're updated to the latest iOS. This tip is about image stacking and you can save a bunch of images in one go. To do this, just long press on the first image with your Apple Pencil and move it around a bit so it becomes like a floating image. And then with your other finger, just tap on all the other images you want to save and you can see it is stacking up here. And once you're done, you can just tap on the three dots at the top of the iPad, open up a split screen and then choose your Photos app. And then you can just drop all the images into your photo album. You can also use the stacking feature with apps. So just long press on one and move it around until you enter this jiggle mode. And then you can just tap on the other apps and they will all stack. And then you can just drag them elsewhere and that will move them all at once. And this tip is really useful for customizing your iPad home screen. And you can also use the stacking feature with your photos and files. This next tip is a gesture shortcut to copying and pasting images and text. So here I'm just in my camera roll and on this photo, I'm just going to pinch in with three fingers and that is going to copy the image. And then I'm going to go into GoodNotes app where my digital planner is. And then I'm just going to pinch out with three fingers to paste the image. And you can do the same with text. Here I'm just in Safari and you can pinch into copy and then go into your other app and then pinch out with three fingers to paste. This tip is a quick note-taking tip. So you can take your Apple Pencil and swipe from the bottom right corner to bring up a quick note. And you can also tap on this pen icon to bring up more of the menu. And with Scribble turned on, you can also tap on the Scribble pen and you can handwrite and this will turn into text automatically. And you can also move the window around the iPad screen. And when you're done, you can just drag this window back into the bottom right corner and it will disappear. You can also quickly save your favorite websites. To do that, just bring up a quick note and then browse to the link you want to save and then just long press on it and then drag it in. And you can do that with multiple links as well. Then to access the link, just tap on it within your notes and this will pop up in a new window. And if you're on a web page and you see something useful that you want to save for later, you can add that to your quick notes. So to do that, just select all the text and then tap on new quick note and you see this will add it to your quick notes and when you want to access that again in your quick notes you can just tap on the link and that will bring this up and it will even highlight the part that you saved to convert handwriting into text make sure you've tapped off the pen icon and then double tap the words to select it and then tap it again and tap on copy as text and then you can tap elsewhere on your note page and tap on this paste icon here or you can also long press and tap on paste and you can also copy the text into other apps like goodnotes safari and gmail this tip is really useful if you find some notes or articles on the web that you want to save so first you want to turn on reader mode if it's available so if you see this icon here tap on it and then tap on show reader and this will just remove the excess objects from the page so the article is a lot neater to read and if you tap on this icon again, you also have different background colors. And then you can just take a screenshot by swiping your Apple Pencil from the bottom left corner and then tap on full page. And you can see that this has turned it into a entire page view. And then tap on the share icon up here. And then this has turned it into a PDF document. So you can just save it to files and it will be a PDF document or if you're using a PDF annotation app like GoodNotes or Notability, you can just tap on the app icon or here I've got the option to open in GoodNotes and then import as new document. And then here I've got the whole document and you can then annotate using your app. With this next tip, you can drag and drop events directly into your calendar app. For example, you can drag and drop directly from your GoodNotes planner. So here I'm just opening up the two apps side by side so that I can see. And then I'm just going to use the lasso tool to lasso around my handwritten notes. And then you can just long press and drag that over to your calendar app and then tap on add. And then you can see it's turned my handwritten notes into an event. And you can also drop events into a particular time slot. So you can just lasso this and drop it to where you want it to go. And you can also create events directly from a quick note. So just make sure you've tapped off the pen. And then if you see this gray underline, you can tap on it with your finger and create an event. 
This next tip is the scribble feature, which I use all the time for converting handwriting into text. So to do this, first go into settings and come down to Apple Pencil, and then make sure you have scribble turned on. And then go back into your note taking app. Here I'm using GoodNotes and then tap on the text tool and tap on the page to place down a text box. And then you can just handwrite and it will automatically turn into text. You can move the text box by tapping on this blue dot here at the top and that allows you to move the text box around and you can also scribble through it to delete the whole sentence. You can draw a line to delete a space and draw another one to add a space. And you can draw a circle around a word to select it and you can replace it with a new word. This next tip is about the keyboard. So if you're typing and you want to see more of the page, you can pinch in with two fingers to minimize the keyboard and you can then move this around the screen as well. And to return it to normal, you can just pinch out with two fingers. This next tip lets you watch videos whilst you're doing other things. First, go to Safari and head over to YouTube. Now make sure you're in Safari and not the YouTube app and then tap on this icon here. And here you have a choice of the desktop and the mobile versions of the website. So for me, this tip only works with the mobile website, but for others, you may need to tap on request desktop website and then go into the website settings and make sure desktop website is enabled. I would suggest trying both if this tip is not working for you. And then just go to the video you want to watch and open that up in full screen mode and then tap on the picture in picture icon here and you can see now you have this floating window and then you can just go into another app and you can also minimize this and move this around the screen and you can also minimize it into the sides of the screen and this is really useful if you're watching a tutorial or if you just want to watch a movie whilst you're doing something else. This next tip is about using the color dropper tool to find the exact color you need. To do this, first take a screenshot by swiping from the bottom left corner and then tap on this color wheel icon and tap and hold on the color dropper icon and this will pick up the shade wherever you hover your pen over. And I'm just going to put my pen over the color that I want to use and let go. And then this is my color hex code. And I'm just going to double tap in here and then copy it. And then you can use this. So I'm just going to come out of this screenshot because I don't need it anymore. And I use this tip for digital planning because you can add in that hex code into your app. So I'm just going to paste that hex code in. And this gives me a pen of the exact same shade as my background here. So I can basically cover up that word and add in my own titles. And this is also really useful for Procreate because you can grab any color from a photo that you see and you can add that to your Procreate app by tapping in the color wheel, going to value and pasting in the hex code. This next tip is about multitasking and it allows you to have two apps open side by side so you can see them both. As I showed earlier in the video, you can multitask by tapping on one app, tap on the three dots at the top and choose the split screen view, then open up the second app. And you can also use your finger to change how much you see of one app or the other. And you can also drag this top here, drag it down and then to the side to have a floating panel. And you can also pull this to the other side. And I use this feature all the time for dragging and dropping images from my files or from cloud storage into my digital planner. You can also take your finger and drag it down and to the side and change it into a split screen like this. And to get rid of it, you can just drag the middle bit all the way to the end. You can do this with any two apps that you need to see side by side, and you can even open a second window for the same app. For example, here I've got GoodNotes app open in two different windows so that I can see these two different files side by side. And you can also use this tip when viewing your files. So I'm just going to go into my files app and then here you can long press on your folder and then just drag it to the side and that will open up in a new window. And you can also combine this with the stacking feature to easily organize your files. And you can also do the same with website links in your emails or messages. So here I'm just in my email app and with this link, you could just long press on it and then drag it into a new window. This next tip I'm going to show on my iPhone because it only works on the newer iPads and my iPad is too old. So with this tip, you can take a photo of anything that has text on it and then you can go to your camera roll and you can just long press on the text and it will pick up that text and you can copy it and paste it into other apps. This next tip is about website previews and here I'm just in Safari and you can long press on a web link and it will bring up a preview of that page before you tap into it. 
And you can do the same with web links in emails or messages. You can just long press on the link and a preview will come up. With this next tip, I'm going to show you how to turn on background sounds. So first tap on the settings icon and then go down to accessibility and then go to audio visual. And here you can turn on background sounds and under sound, you have some different ones. And here you can change the volume of the sound and you have some other options here as well. And this is really cool because when you're in other apps, you can still hear the background noise. Give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tips and digital planning videos. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching.